Celebrities and activists now calling for a 24-hour boycott of Amazon, Apple and FedEx because of their partnerships with the NRA. Among those promoting the boycott are Hollywood actors Alyssa Milano, Deborah Messing, actor and producer Justine Bateman and Shannon Coulter. Trump 2020 campaign media advisory board member Gina Loudon is here. I gave you a promotion before I said you're the manager. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> I love promotions right on air like that, Liz. Thank you. So what are they not getting about average Americans? Well, first of all, a lot of this is astroturfed. Let's not forget that. Yes, you have some stars, but as far as any big movement out there, a lot of that is bots, and I don't ever want to like not mention that. But there are a few things they don't get. One of them is that there are a lot of gun organizations out there, Liz, more than the NRA. There's gun owners, gun, gun owners of America, just to mention one. But there are tons of gun clubs and gun. So you can you can try to hurt one, and it doesn't matter because people are still going to stay with what they believe. But I think the most important thing that they're missing is that conservatives don't act based upon getting free stuff. That's what Democrats do, Liz. We act based on patriotism, based on where we feel like we're called to go, and based on our passion in that direction. So they're not going to change anything by trying to take away, you know, this this percentage off at that store or yeah. trying to sway this. It's just not going to work. I hear what you're saying. The pro you know, the protesters, of course, have free speech rights. So do companies under Citizens United. That's the Supreme Court decision. Uh, you know, the president was pretty direct. It's like the Trump town hall. He said, you know what, let's, he's not being ideological, he's not being political, he said, let's get to the solution. Are the, are, is Hollywood acknowledging what the president is saying? He doesn't like assault weapons in the hands of the mentally unstable. He wants better background checks. And the fact that there were so many red flags. Is Hollywood, do you think Hollywood's zooming hard on the local breakdown? No, I think Hollywood is playing by their same old playbook that lost the last election for them. They are the reason Trump was elected. So frankly, as someone on his media advisory board, I hope they keep talking, Liz. But um, no, they, they don't understand. And they don't understand that they they are not trying to come up with solutions. The president has listened. He's been very transparent. He's listened to both sides. He's gone against people that no one ever thought he would go against. because Including the, the NRA. Thing, including the NRA, because he's not beholden to them. He's beholden to the people that elected him. He's beholden to his own children and grandchildren in the country he's leaving to them. And I still believe that's why he ran in the first place. So no, they don't understand. And they don't understand that they can't, they're not going to sway anybody that way. He's looking for solutions. America wants solutions. Listen, there are decent, hardworking, patriotic Americans who are in the NRA. That, those are facts. We hear that every day here. There are both sides to this debate. I mean, that's what's at stake here is whether people are being listened to and everybody's, you know, thoughts are in on this debate. So, and the president's trying to do that with his Trump town hall. Right, but if yeah. the NRA went away tomorrow, Liz, I'm not a member of the NRA. If the NRA went away tomorrow, you would not take away people who are going to fight yeah. for our constitutional right to our second Let's amendment. Let's get to the